you talk about driven. You certainly look driven this season. What an amazing season. You just finished second in the MVP voting. Uh, the first designated hitter to finish in the top three since David Ortiz did it eight years ago. Can you just describe what you feel really clicked this year? Because at 35, arguably your best season in terms of the batting average plus the power component and the great consistency from the start, was there one thing that you kind of point to as what really might have clicked this particular year? And did you get a sense as the season went on how special a year you were having? Well, you know what? Uh, honestly, you know, this, the uh, home run thing, you know, I'm not going to lie, it, it did surprise me, you know, I mean, uh, I had a couple, uh, I think it's three or four years, I hit 25, 23, yeah. you know, 20, and, and uh, you know, I'm, I, at one point I was like, you know, wait a minute, I mean, what is going on here? <laughs> but, Especially uh, from the right side, too. Right, and, 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 you know, I was just focusing every every time that uh, I'm going to make a swing, I was just focusing to put the good, the good part of the, of the bat on that baseball, and and uh, it's something that I I learned from my beginnings yeah. that, that I got tired to give a bats away, and you know at one point I said I mean if I'm gonna be an out, um, at least I'm gonna make him throw three pitches, you know and and just for being a catcher it, it helped me out a lot I think uh, uh, you know pitchers miss a spot a lot and and you know when you that's why you see no hitters. Mm -hmm. You know, perfect game. When you face a pitcher, they come, you know, throwing the ball right where they want, and it's tough to hit. But uh, uh, they're not machines, you know, and they're trying to hit th this side right here, and they end up giving you a, a, a cookie right in the middle or a pitch where, you know, they're not supposed to throw it. So just for being a catcher, I, I noticed that, and just trying to take advantage of it. Yeah, because a lot of times you'll, you'll hear catchers say, they'll put all that knowledge to use. But by the time they really can put it all to use in their 30s, it's probably too late for them as a mm -hmm. hitter. But you really feel like now you can put all that knowledge to use and clearly all the mechanics and the bat speed is still well, there I to think, take advantage I think, of. I think another thing that helped me a lot was it, you know, coming from that injury from 2012, you know, last year, I, I felt that I, I, didn't, I didn't have my legs, you know. Till about mid-season, right? Yeah, and then, you know, I went into the off-season and I told my wife, I even told my agent, I, I'm going to work my legs like I used to, you know, when I was catching every day. I still, I still, till today, I still in the off season working like I'm catching every day, even that I, I, I know I won't, but, right. you know, this is, this is me, I, I, you know, and I did, I did my workout with my legs and, you know, this year, that's, that, I think that was the biggest, the biggest difference. I was able to put all my legs in, in, in every swing and, and you make a big difference. So you can understand a Miguel Cabrera coming back from the core muscle surgery and then dealing with the oh, ankle. Definitely. I mean, you, you have to admire what he managed to accomplish this year when he probably couldn't use his legs. If, if, I, if I have to, to admire it now, I, I, I got back home and I told my wife and I, I, I just told uh, Dave Dombrowski that with all the respect to everybody in, around the league, you know, and even more this year, I haven't seen a, a, a hitter. For me, he got to be he got to be the best hitter in the game because uh, I, be, I I was with him the whole year, you know. And basically, he was playing in one leg all year long. And wow. if you tell me that I'm gonna have his number next year, I'm gonna take I take it right now. We close <laughs> a deal right now, you know. And yeah. a lot of people saying that he he had a down year, a down year, three ten with twenty five yeah. and one hundred and nine. You know, those are MVP numbers, and for somebody to be able to put those kind of numbers it, it, the way he did, right. it, it's ridiculous. You know? When he's healthy and going great, and again, it was good this year, but not quite what it had been before, what is the impact on you hitting behind him? Well, I just got to be ready because <laughs> I know they won't pitch to him. I just got to be ready, you know, and that's something that I, 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 I love to hit in those situations, and, you know, I something that I've been doing in my whole career. You talked about the goal, obviously, winning a World Series. When you watch the postseason like we just saw with two wild card teams making it to the World Series, do you look at it as saying, I mean, our goal is to make sure we reach the postseason, and then it's really kind of a, if there's some luck involved, it's kind of a crapshoot, and, and it just, it, it, sometimes it's just not going to work? Or do you look at it and say, okay, we can learn from what we've done in the past years. This is how we get to the World Series. You know what? I, I I don't know what is the thinking, the thinking of other people, but my thinking and what I'm 
trying to tell the young guys is that this is a team that's been built to win, to win it all. And uh, we don't have to have that, that, that just make it to the playoff mentality. You know, if we don't make it, obviously it's going to be a, a big disappointment. Right. But, you know, there's, there's some, some guys that never been in the playoff and maybe they're just going to be happy just to mm -hmm. make it. You know, not for me and not for a lot of my teammates, you know. And this is, what, this is why I talk every day in the clubhouse and I am keep repeating it, keep repeating it, keep repeating it. I, I, I say it's when you go to school and you had a test and you study and you're ready for that test, right? You know, for me as a baseball player, I started working out early in the offseason, get myself ready. And, and, and I'm assuming the rest of my teammates are doing the yeah. same thing because this is not a one-man sport. You know, we need all 25 guys to, to accomplish that, that ultimate goal. And, and you know what, if I'm busting my butt, getting ready and be ready to play 162 plus, you know, I'm counting on my teammates to do the same thing. This is why the Tigers wanted you back. <laughs> I don't think there's any question about that. But as you said, there's work to be done, and you're going to lead the way, and we're, we're so thankful that you're back, and we can't wait to see uh, what happens next year. Thank you very much. Thank I you. I appreciate Victor. it. Appreciate Thank you. It.